Hello, I'm Tam Ashkenazi, and I'm a PhD student in the Computer Science Department at Ben Gurion University, under the advisory of Professor Shlomi Dolev. And I will present my collaborative project with Shlomi Dolev, Sayaka Kamai, Yushiaki Katayama, Fukuhito Oshita, and Kohiki Wada on location functions for self-stabilization Byzantine tolerance swarms. We demonstrate the usage uh, of shape and polynomial error correcting in order to achieve self-stabilization despite the presence of Byzantine robots. Today, I will present some background on self-stabilization algorithms uh, in spite of Byzantine robots, our contribution in the, the self-stabilization location-based algorithms, and at the end, a number of task examples uh, uh, using the shape and polynomial algorithms. And the main difficulty here is to prevent the Byzantine robots from uh, persuading the non-Byzantine robots in following their own location functions. So now let's consider the case uh, where a swarm of robots must perform a task with a specific structure defined in two or three dimensions of space. For example, let's imagine that a line of marching robots may be clean in a field or drawn or trying to reduce the air resistance by creating a three-dimensional aerodynamic shape, or even robots that are mimicking a swarm of bird or fish moving within a higher level dimension in polynomial structure. But, uh, when dealing with, uh, with robots in practice, we must consider the presence of Byzantine, faulty, or malicious robots. These robots may not follow a given algorithm due to experiencing a fault or what due to a malicious takeover uh, that, that may disturb the other robots. So, um, for example, a behavior caused by a bug in the software of honest robots or a malicious malware injection. Uh, these potentially Byzantine robots may be temporarily or constantly uh, controlled by, by an adversary trying to prevent the honest robots from completing their, completing their tasks. And in particular, the number of such Byzantine robots may exceed, at least temporarily, any given threshold up to a situation when all robots become faulty. So most of the algorithm today is based on the assumption that the number of Byzantine robots is less than a third of all the robots. And so obviously, when all robots are Byzantine, no meaningful task can be achieved. But uh, we would still like the robots to execute their tasks uh, once enough of them have been corrected. I'm now, now going to present our contribution on a location policy based on the robot location. The usage of the proposed policy enabled the robots in the swarm to identify the Byzantine participant and stabilize and complete the task ignoring the Byzantine robot's actions. The robot use a policy for their location choice using error correcting capability of polynomial in case of unlimited location range or shape structure function such as circle or clips in case of a limited uh, location shape. Our policy is based on choosing the degree of the polynomial or the required number of points for dealing a function of a shape structure very carefully in order to be small enough in relation to the number of robots. So that the, the Byzantine robot minority does not obey the polynomial or shape can be identified and discarded. We assume that all robots move at once, or there is a circonious clock that allows uh, enough smaller gr granularity uh, steps uh, uh, to reach the, the position in the next polynomial or function, period to re-examine the next location. Our contribution being that we develop a new location policy where the, the non byzantine robots execute a task while satisfying different location function. As we can see uh, on the slide, the non byzantine robots can move following uh, to a different location. The, the location function enable, uh, enable robots to execute tasks in a self-stabilization byzantine tolerance fashion. And if robots identify a unique function that is satisfied by enough robots, they are in, in the correct configuration and can move to the next location based uh, on the task definition. This is the closure. Otherwise, the, the robots can uh, detect the, the incorrect configuration and move to a default or corrected location depending on the, on the uh, current configuration. This is the convergence. Uh, 
so maybe b before jumping into the technical section, let let's summarize what we have uh, uh, discussed so far. So all the robots locate on uh, all the robots locate all other robots. Then they try to find the shape of polynomial based on the on the other robot locations. And if the polynomial or shape is found, they can execute a task like marching, exploring, and uh, convertage, or, or any other, and, and continue to the next polynomial or shape according to the task definition. And if the shape or polynomial isn't found, the robots move to a different shape or polynomial and continue to execute the task. And now let's, let's do a deep dive into the details. So, uh, let, let, let's assume we have a very large board with n robots, and the, the tiles are represented by the coordinates, uh, coordinates uh, x, y, and the robots can move in uh, up, down, left, and right directions. So we assume that a maximum of two robots are buzzing time, and robots can follow two different function structures, shape or uh, polynomial. In the shape structure, the validation procedure uh, examines uh, whether the location uh, uh, of at least n minus t robots reside on points that obey the function f. Whenever the validation is not successful, the robots create a different valid shape, ignoring the Byzantine robots. Now, I, I think it might be clearer uh, to, to talk about specific examples such as circle. Okay? So, the circle location function is defined as a x minus a uh, square plus y minus b square uh, equal to r square for some a, b, and r. And uh, such shapes that can be identified by a relatively small set of points. And hence, the, the proposed framework uses the majority of such subsets of the robot's location to decide, uh, decide on, on the Byzantine robots that do not obey, obey the majority agreement on the shape. The validation of the circle can be based on searching for a location of at least n minus t robots that agree on the center locations and radius of the circle. Okay? And, and such a set can be based on uh, computing the center and radius of subset of three robots and checking the, the most popular center and radius uh, of the subsets. And in case a, a no majority of subsets, uh, of, of, uh, subsets uh, the robot uses a, a default center and radius. Okay? So, uh, in our example, each subset uh, here of, of robots retain the same circle, okay? Um, but if we have one Byzantine robot, one subset would retain another circle. So, uh, any, three, uh, any three robots that are not, uh, sorry, not, that are on, on distinct tiles and are not on a, on a line can define one circle. So, assuming a valid circle for which the, the location of n minus t robots uh, exists, then the, the common center and radius of the circle, the Risardon, is found during the examination of the number of three robot subsets. And uh, uh, t is chosen in a way that ensure, ensures that the, the existence of one possible circuit at, circle is at the most. Okay, as, as we can see in the, in the slide. So when n minus t other robots share a common circle, center and radius, uh, then no other set of n minus t robots can share a, a, a circle with different uh, center or radius. And in the worst case scenario, we can consider the case in which all Byzantine robots stand on a separate common circle from the circle the, the non-Byzantine robots stand on, trying to manipulate the other robots to choose the wrong circle. So now the, the Byzantine robots in, in this case can choose two honest robots and create one circle uh, with them. Okay, so so that the number of robots in the wrong circle is t plus two. As the number of robots in the in the correct circle is equal to n minus t but by definition, we have to choose n minus t greater than t plus two to uh, avoiding the Byzantine robot malicious strategy. So we choose n greater than 2t plus 2. So uh, in general, assuming the number of points needed to define a function f is x, the, the Byzantine robot can choose x minus 1 honest robots to define a new shape. Okay? Uh, so in this case, we want uh, n minus t to be greater than t plus x minus 1. So n is greater than 2t plus x minus 1. 
So the number of all possible groups of, of x robots out of, uh, of, out of n robots is uh, uh, n over x, implying a polynomial time uh, complexity. And if the robot cannot find a valid circle, then they may use a default circle and move to, the, to, and move to this circle prior to continue, continue their task. So a different circle could be, uh, uh, for example, x squared plus y squared equal r squared, where r is the, the uh, predefined uh, global value. And it, it is important to say that the Byzantine robot can join the shape structure anytime and stop being considered Byzantine. And on, on the other end, robots may decide not to join the shape and uh, are then uh, identified as uh, Byzantine. Um, Okay, so uh, if the structure is defined by a polynomial, um, we, we choose to use polynomial to detect and ignore Byzantine location. To do so, the non-Byzantine participant identify the polynomial uh, at a degree of uh, uh, n minus uh, 2t minus 1, where n is the total number of robots and t is the upper bound of, of the number of uh, Byzantine robots. Um, now, for example, if, if n uh, equal 4 and t equal 1, uh, like in the slide, the degree of the polynomial is 1. So the, the polynomial is, is a line that uh, can be identified by uh, one Byzantine participant. Okay? So uh, once the, the three other robots share a specific line, they can continue sharing the line forever, ignoring the Byzantine participant. So in, in a self-stabilization situation, the non-Byzantine participant may be started in any position, okay? like in the, the example. And uh, so, for, for example, the, the swarm can be started uh, where the location of each uh, subset of three robots doesn't create a line. And therefore, a polynomial of degree one cannot be identified by the location of the robots. So the location can identify there, there is no polynomial with at most uh, with degree of at most 2 minus 2t two minus 1 uh, for, for which the location of the, the least n minus t robots agree. Okay? So in this case there is a need to change locations ensuring the, the invariant, invariant that there are at least n minus t robots over the polynomial of degree that is at the most uh, n minus 2t minus 1. Uh, here's one method uh, of, of defining the default polynomial is, is a predefined polynomial. And uh, so if, if there is no polynomial with uh, n minus 2t minus 1 degree, the, the robots move to a predefined polynomial with, with the degree of n minus 2t minus 1. For in this example, if n equals uh, 7 and t equals 2, the robot can move to a predefined polynomial uh, x squared. Okay? As uh, in the shape structure, the polynomial, uh, uh, as in the same, in, in the shape structure, the polynomial structure can run in a polynomial time base uh, on the efficient uh, uh, Berla-Kamp-Walsh algorithm, or the extension of, of the algorithm for three or more dimensions. Uh, actually, to, to find at least n minus two robots that are located on the polynomial with the degree of the most n minus two t minus one. Uh, now, let, let's see several examples of tasks and how we can uh, use the robots to execute them uh, using the shape and polynomial based algorithm despite the Byzantine robots. So, the, the first two examples are very trivial. Okay, so in the first example, we would like the robots to uh, converge to a specific point. So, they can create a circle and, and, and decrease the circle radius. Okay, so um, and by uh, actually until all the robots stand on a, on a specific location, as we can see here. Um, another example is marching. So uh, after creating the polynomial or shape, robots uh, can move or march according to a task. For example, in a global movement uh, that does not change the polynomial, uh, the, uh, so it does not change the polynomial slope. Okay, so uh, like in this example or, or uh, does not change the shape structure as we see, uh, see this. so before, uh, so we, we can move up, down, right, and left. Uh, or or uh, alternative, the robot can uh, actually increase or decrease the size of the shape, 
okay? Depending on the, on the task, ignoring the bus and train robots. And in both, in both cases, as we saw before, the honest robot can detect and ignore the Byzantine robots, and the Byzantine robots cannot uh, influence the structure. Okay? Uh, and a, a more sophisticated task is exploration. So in this task, the, the robots need to explore every tile on the board. So this is not an easy task, as, as the robots don't have, uh, uh, they don't have memory, and each robot needs to decide what is the next step. So in our algorithm, in order to, to be a, a Byzantine a resist, resist, resilient, resilient, sorry, we, we defined the head tile as the, the one that contains at least two T plus one robots, and each of the other tiles uh, uh, at least uh, T plus one robots. So uh, in addition, we defined uh, an even or odd row to decide on the direction, and the robot follow a, a snake path, visiting every node on the board. Okay, so in this example, and, and using uh, this algorithm, the Byzantine robot cannot uh, uh, persuade the honest robot to skip a tile. Uh, okay, so just to summarize, uh, we have demonstrated the usage of uh, shape and polynomial error correcting uh, in order to achieve self-stabilization despite uh, Byzantine robots using polynomial time complexity. Uh, thank you for listening.